My name is Michael Burrow. Um, I'm a senior lecturer in civil engineering and um, my role is the convener of the road management and engineering um, MSc programme. So the programme is about road management and, and engineering. Um, it's special because it's been running for 50 years. We educate probably 20 to 30 students every year on the course. And we cover topics from road asset management through to constructing a road, through to designing the road, through to managing the maintenance of the road and then looking at the economics and the financing of the road. So it's unique in those terms. So the entry requirements for the road management programme um, are a good 2-1 degree in a relevant subject. So the relevant subject could be civil engineering, it could be transportation, it could be geography, it could be economics, those types of degrees. We also have a um, look for people with industrial experience if they haven't got a 2-1, so perhaps you might have a 2-2 degree or even a degree in not a relevant subject, but you've had 5 or 10 or 15 years of experience in the road sector, then we would very much welcome you onto the programme. So in terms of career outcomes, the aims of the programme really are to train the students to become road asset management specialists. So that means enabling you to manage a road network, manage a road network in terms of the financing of the road network, manage the network in terms of um, the maintenance of the network, manage the network in terms of designing, improving the network, expanding the network, those sorts of things. And we're equipping students um, in the long term to become leaders in their chosen field. So we have a number of graduates, for example, who go on to work with the World Bank, a number of graduates who go on to become um, leaders in their own organisation. So, for example, in, in the road sector, um, they might go and lead a local authority. They might go on to lead their own road authority in their own country. So it's a very international focus programme which actually develops leaders in their field. Students should choose to study road asset management or road management um, because in the road sector it's really the sector to be in, it's the sector that's growing. Road management is all about maintaining the road asset, looking after the asset um, and primarily in most countries now we're not investing in new infrastructure, what we're doing is we're turning to rehabilitate existing infrastructure and we're having to look after that infrastructure. We have excellent laboratories and those laboratories um, enable us to look at the geotechnical aspects of roads, so a fundamental part of the course that we deliver is about maintenance and also about rural roads and we have laboratory facilities which allow us to look at those aspects. We have excellent computing facilities um, and the course, um, two core components of the course are associated with HDM4 which is the World Bank's de facto standard for road investment appraisal and our computers have that program installed on there. And we also have a very specialist asset management system which, the, which the, again is, is installed throughout the campus which allows students to use it. We primarily look for someone who's here to learn, okay? someone who's here to, to move, if you like, from being a technician to being an engineer. And that's what I want. I'd want someone who's here that's going to be ambitious in their career, someone who's going to be dedicated to their work, but someone who really wants to think about learning how to be an engineer. And I think that at the end of the day that's what we're looking for. On average, we have about 22 students. This year, we've got um, 27 new students on the programme. We like to keep the numbers below 30 because I believe that's a very good learning environment. Um, and those students actually interact extremely well with each other. We have a very lively um, body of, of road management MSc students, both on the programme and both outside the programme.